Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your love and relationship reading for April 2020. This is a collective reading for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Sagittarius. Again, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Be sure to check your other signs for any additional messages that may be coming through for you. If you like my content, please feel free to like, share, hit that subscribe button. Really, really helps me out. I really appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. Good to see you. And if you're back, welcome back. I'm so glad to see you again. All right. This is for love and relationships for Sagittarius. Oh, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website addressed below. Be sure to leave comments if this resonated with you. What did you uh, take from it? All right, cards are popping. They want to be heard. All right. Love and relationship, Sagittarius. Okay. <clears throat> so right off the bat, we have the star. Two of pentacles. Seven of swords. And the chariot. Lovely. Okay, so there's a few different messages right off the hop. The star says, for some of you, um, in conjunction with this seven of swords, you feel you kind of have an inkling someone's not being truthful to you. Okay, um, now for some of you, it's all in your head, I'm not gonna lie. And for others of you, there's some conversations that need to be had. All right, so, I mean, the star says, you know, right, that intuition, you know ultimately what's real and what isn't. And if you feel you need to have a conversation, you need to do that, okay? Some of you, um, you need to make a decision. Right? You're kind of humming and hawing whether or not you're going to progress with a relationship. With the chariot here, this is telling me for some of you it's really time to be moving on. If you can't make a decision by this point, that should be your answer right there. Hmm. Justice, High Priestess. Okay. <clears throat> Some of you, I'm hearing the word vindicated, right? Somebody might have been untruthful to you. You called them out on it and you've heard, yeah, absolutely. You're correct. Just like you knew with the star and the high priestess here, you followed your intuition. You're hundred percent correct. Others of you, I feel like some of you might be competing for someone's attention. Okay. Um, and you're ultimately going to be the one that comes out on top. Some of you are having some babies. All right. Some of you are just starting a new relationship. For those of you who are single, you're feeling a little lonely. Okay. I mean, we're in quarantine. That's not a very surprising uh, thing to be feeling right now, whether you're with someone or not. Okay. Um, with the hermit card, it tells me now's the time to kind of hide away, like fuck relationships, cultivate one with yourself. All right. You have the high priestess and the star here. That's the other realm. That's your higher self talking. Okay. Some of you really need to find a balance and, uh, cultivate a relationship with your higher self and not an actual partner. Okay. Once you get to know yourself, I mean, Jesus Christ, um, you won't feel that need to be with anybody else. Okay. 
you'll, once you're content with yourself, that's when other things are going to fall into place, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Oh, we have worry warts and we have celebrations. Okay. There's, this tells me that, you know, when it comes to your love life, your relationship, don't worry about it. Things are going to happen when they happen. That's divine timing, right? If you uh, just ended a relationship, it's for the best. Don't worry about it. Time to celebrate, okay? <clears throat> Six of Swords. Yeah, a lot of you are moving on from a relationship. Like, or, or if you had trouble in your relationship, this is for a fair few of you, actually. You've been kind of um, possibly fighting with your partner, uh, bickering a lot. I mean, especially for those, like, you're married, you're quarantined, you're, you're stuck together 24-7. Okay, it's, it's an adjustment. It is. Don't worry. Things are starting to smooth out here. You're kind of getting into your routine by the end of the month here. Don't worry. It's going to be okay. All right? I just see with this Nine of Swords, this Eight of Swords, guys, you got to get out of your head. Especially you single ones, okay? I mean, you're feeling a certain type of way, and that's, that's fine, okay? Relationships are not the be-all, end-all, okay? You need to be okay by yourself. I mean, that is a big message for somebody here. It keeps coming through, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah. Now, some of you, I mean, Sagittarius, let's be honest, we like to be a bit, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you can be kind of a little asshole sometimes. I mean, not in a bad way. It's just who you are. You're adventurous. You are rebellious. Like You like to do things your own way. Okay. Um, some of you are with a partner who is a very good match for you. Okay. <clears throat> Pardon me. Very grounded. Right? Just kind of lets you be you. And just it's, it's like they're hard to shake. Like they're just, you can't, they're just even keel. All right. Very, very good partner. Very solid partner for some of you. For a lot of you, actually. I feel like there's a very solid relationship here. We have the strength. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Now, this is just a message for a few of you who are in a relationship. Things aren't always greener on the other side. Okay? If you catch my drift. Right? Just stay where you are. Okay? Um... Address what needs to be dressed in order to be happy where you are. And then if you can't work through that, then it's time to move on. All right. We're not looking at all the other options that you have right now while you're still, while you're still tied to who you are with. Okay. Some of you, I feel like a seven year itch. Some of you like a wandering eye. It's not worth it guys. Okay. Um, yeah, be honest, be honest with how you're feeling, right? Figure out why, work through it, and if it doesn't work out, then you know, okay? But yeah, overall, Sagittarius, what I'm seeing for you is a lot of you are in a very secure, loving relationship. And you're going through, I mean, there's bumps in the road, right? And just with this whole quarantine thing, you're, you you got to find a new normal that is absolutely to be expected. Don't worry. You guys are solid. 
okay? For those of you who are single, you gotta be single, okay? Um, take this time to really connect with yourself. Um, yeah, and for those of you who uh, are thinking of sneaking around, I would reconsider. All right, quite a few messages there. I hope that resonated for you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed your love and relationship reading, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.